In this video, I'll be solving May 2018 question 5, part A. Students in a group were asked to name their favorite sport. Their responses are shown on the pie chart below. Part 1. Calculate the value of x or 1 mark. Now, if we carefully observe our pie chart here, we know that the angle around the point is 360 degrees, and there are three angles in the sectors here that make up the pie chart x 94 degrees and 45 degrees so we can write here that x plus 94 degrees plus 45 degrees is equal to 360 degrees so x 94 plus 45 is 139 degrees and this is equal to 360 degrees so x here, taking the 139 across the equal sign, it becomes negative. So this is 360 degrees minus 139 degrees. So therefore, x is 221 degrees. Part 2. What percentage of the students chose cricket for one mark? In our pie chart here, the sector that represents cricket has an angle of 94 degrees. So I can write here 94 degrees all over 360 degrees multiplied by 100 over 1, and this gives me 26.1%. Part 3. Given that 40 students chose tennis, calculate the total number of students in the group for two marks. Now, in our pie chart here, we have for the sector that represents tennis, the angle is 45 degrees. And this 45 degrees represents 40 students. So the total number of students is given by 360 degrees. So I will write here 360 degrees. And I will say here that 45 degrees represents 40 students. So, 45 degrees into 45 degrees, 1, 45 degrees into 360 degrees, 8. 8 multiplied by 40 students is 320 students. Part B. The diagram below shows a frequency polygon of the number of goals scored by a football team in 25 matches. Part 1. Complete the following table using the information in the diagram for one mark. Now, the missing number of matches occur when the number of goals scored are 2 and 5. So, from the frequency polygon here, when the number of goals scored is 2, the number of matches is 3. When the number of goals scored is 5, the number of matches is 2. So I will write these values into my table here, 3, 2. Part 2. What is the modal number of goals scored by the team for one mark? Now, from the frequency polygon here, the highest number of matches is 7. And in these 7 matches, one goal was scored. So, the modal number of goals scored by the team is 1 goal. Part 3. Determine the median number of goals scored by the team for one mark. Now, the question gave us here that the football team played in 25 matches, and 25 is an odd number, so the median will be the middle number. Now, for ungrouped data, we know that the median here is n plus 1 all over 2. And here is 25 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 13. So therefore, the median will occur in the 13th match. So I will go to the table here, and I will add up the number of matches to find the 13th match and look for the number of goals that correspond to the median. So I will say here that 5 plus 7 is 12, 12 and 1 is 13. So the 13th match here is one of these three matches that has two goals being scored. So 
the median number of goals scored is 2 goals. Part 4. Calculate the mean number of goals scored by the team for 2 months. Now I copied over this table from B part 1 to do my calculations quickly. And I will take the number of matches and multiply them by the number of goals scored. This will give me the number of goals scored for each frequency of matches. So, this is 5 multiplied by 0 is 0. 7 multiplied by 1 is 7. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. And 1 multiplied by 6 is 6. So I can say here that 0 plus 7 plus 6 plus 9 plus 16 plus 10 plus 6 is equal to 54 goals. And I could say here that the mean is equal to 54 divided by the 25 matches that was played. And I'm getting a mean of 2.16 goals.